the 1997 NBA draft. And what a performer this guy has been. Consensus National Player of the Year. Averaged about 21, 15, and three blocks. Well, you can see he can play, face it, put it on the floor. And the nice thing about it is as his size, he can shoot with either hand. And then you can see he handles extremely well. And then he also has three-point college range. The only negative, the downside, is the foul shooting, and hopefully that will be corrected. But what a force, guys. Well, I think another thing that's going to be very important uh, with this group is that your guard players will have to be very important to you, because you're going to have to have proper time, in particular with two big guys in there. And I think a 6'11 forward, I still think it's a difficult task, although well-talented team, it don't underestimate the hard job that the coach is going to have to do. Head, hands, heart, and what I call a hummer. The guy can knock down the NBA three. I predict he'll be the best incoming shooter in the draft. He is chosen by the Philadelphia 76ers. We'll see how long he stays there. Word is he's on his way to New Jersey eventually if that trade goes through. But tell me about his game. Well, he's a really a good shooter. He can run the floor. He's got outstanding hands. He can take the mismatch of a big man outside and run him off of picks. He can take a small man in the post. He can turn to either shoulder. I think he brings a dimension to the game. He's going to have to learn to take it off the dribble more. He has not done that for me. And we didn't want him to pass. We wanted the ball to go through him and to him. So he's, uh, quite frankly, he's very unselfish. Not afraid to take the big shot either, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> and he makes his three throws. Shoots 90% from the foul line. And you know what? He makes over 90% on the road. When they'd be drafted in the NBA, he's 6'3", 207 pounds. All Big 12 first team. He scored about 19 points a game, about five assists and five rebounds, and better than two steals a game. Well, you can see that uh, he's a handler, and he's a finisher because of good upper body strength. He likes to score. He has the range, and we know that he can finish off the dribble. The main thing with him, though, is that in this style of play, you have to have eyes because the ball will always be in transition, and he is a bona fide point guard. I like him because he can get his own shot, as Hubie said. I also like him because he knows how to play. He's one of those guys who's going to make everybody around him better and yet be a potent scorer himself. And right now, Chauncey Billups is with Craig Sager. Since Nate Thurman in 1963. Nate Thurman, of course, in a Hall of Fame career. And Antonio Daniels is headed to Vancouver. This guy really came on and opened some eyes, did he not, Hubie? Well, I think what you have here is a finished product. He can make the play. He's a very dangerous shooter. So anytime he breaks the foul line area, he must be played with respect. He's got good size, good body, and then the ability, once again, we say, to make the play under pressure and take the big shot. And you saw the bucket he made right there. That was in his first game back after his brother's death. He hit the game-winning bucket. An emotional Get in there and push around. I like the fact, I think you can control a guy a lot more than you can put that spirit in him. I like him. I think he's active, and I think he can play some forward, too. And given the McDice situation there, some insurance here. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's a great pick for them, uh, mainly because you're talking a shot blocker and a rebounder and a guy who can change ends for his size. And that's what you really like. So what you're getting now is for your second unit, a dominant rebounder shot blocker and then you can also play him in first line situations and realize that he can be a terrific garbage man in trend the transition game and of course his brother Derek played at temple and went on to play overseas in italy and the word was they spent this summer living in philadelphia and knocking the bark off each other in some playground games getting ready this summer he's standing by now in great second I demur to Hubie on that in that regard. I know this he made roadkill out of our defense. He's superb <laughs> at coming off the screens, moves well to get his own shot, runs the floor. I mean, I, I really like him. I, I think he has a little bit of a problem, Hubie, getting his own shot off the dribble, though. No, I agree with that. And uh, you, you know that he can also post up for you if you play him at a two-guard position. What Rick is doing here, you could have either taken a Timmy Thomas, Tracy McGrady, or Ron Mercer. You eliminated the unknown because you know this guy, you've had him. He gets you a 20 in the big game that wins the NCAA championship. So you know that there are very little things of surprise here. So Rick is going to have to put in a work ethic of the type of defense that he wants. And that's something which was lacking last year in Boston. And when you talk about a team that 
gave up defensively over 100 points a game. He goes to Philadelphia. You know that he will be in competition with Stackhouse at that small forward position. And then you move over to the power forward. You have Derek Coleman and Witherspoon at, at, at that slot. So it's going to be interesting whichever place that he plays. But he's not a knockout. He's not a given that he's going to walk in and be an automatic starter and put up big numbers for you. The work habits are going to have to increase, and he's going to have to get a game posting up, not just an open floor transition player. And he's got a lot of flexibility. I, I think when you see a kid like this play, particularly a young kid, you've got to get excited about him because of what he can do at his size. But I think like most young kids, you're going to have to mature and grow into that. You're going to have to be very competitive every night. This is, is they were looking for the best available guy, an athlete who can change the floor, you know, change ends from basket to basket, a rebounder shot blocker. And you're going to see right here, um, you know, he likes to catch and face and and take the basket you know take the shot to the basket he is not a player who catches with the jump hooks down inside but his strong suit is the shot blocking and rebounding and remember when he came out of high school he was so recruited by all the top teams and everybody wanted him for the shot blocking and rebounding and i think that's what golden state will take because they have enough cannons to score points they need guys to help them defensively things and he's going to eventually be a very good player but I'm always very reluctant to put a great expectation on a kid that's in high school the thing that amazes me with these guys is they take 19 year old 20 year old people and then they react to it when they act like they're 19 and 20 years old I think that you're going to have to wait for him as far as talent every team that he worked out for could see that he's going to be an outstanding player down the road and that's why a lot of people were talking about taking him at six or seven. Never mind, Toronto gets him at nine. So for Toronto, because Walt Williams is a free agent. 57. Give him another half inch. Make him six seven. He's all yours, guys. I think he's at a tough size. He doesn't have a lot of lift, nor does he have great quickness. He rebounds his own area very well. He's a big body guy who's kind of been a brute. Uh, at the collegiate level, now he's good, like John said earlier. I think John made a great point there. Foyle's now going up against Ewing and company. This kid's now going up against Carl Malone and friends. I think he's going to struggle a little bit. Uh, I, I, I question his mobility and I question his ability to score. But I think one of the things that you know, you got a kid who will beat you up with the ball in his hand. I think he's strong and he's physical. And